So back again, and we still don't have this login, so let's add that. Okay. We still don't have the login component. So let's say login.js and let's start adding our functionality and the form to the login. So let's import a React and use a state from React. The dispatch from React um, Redux. The action that we already have that is the login user. Okay. That is uh, inside this one. And we are going to use here redirect instead of a uh, props history. Okay. So we can test uh, all the three things sign up, login, and logout in this video. So let's say constant sign in. And let's export the default that no although I have signed in let's call it login because that should be the name it seems that I forgot to change that also it's working but it's just the naming but okay let's say login save this we have that on the routes I think no we still don't have that okay we're going to add it in a second let's just return this is just the same function we have on the on the um, sign in, okay. Except that we're going to use the login function. So let's say login equals let's say event event done prevent default. Okay. And let's just console that log um, login user. Okay. And um, just checking in case we need something. else okay let's just add it to the rows and test it to see if it works before adding the other functionality so i'm going to come to the routes do i have the okay i have them here and let's say import login from components Login and just copy and paste this because it's just the same using the login. Okay, let's save that. Okay, I said email is not okay. Okay, we actually need to set our constants on the um just give me a second okay here we're going to say constant email and set email okay that are the functions that we're going to use here forgot that we added that use state like that and the other one is going to be constant password and set password use state <clears throat> so that should work okay sign in login okay so if we uh, do this okay 
login sign in and new post that doesn't have anything yet. Um, okay. So what we can do now is actually test or sign in and start adding the functionality. So this is the sign in component. And we have this function sign in that is going to allow us to use the Farbit function in order to sign in okay, and get the email and password. So we're going to do here, let me just do this, a simple validation, there's going to be the email is not equals to an empty string and password is not equals to an empty string. Um, now we're going to await the create um okay i haven't added that forgot that i didn't add that mm, so let's copy this okay let's paste it so this is going to handle only the redirections okay so don't worry about it and let's say it's equal to false okay now we're going to use the dispatch that we uh, used before in the in the navigation i think we added that <coughs> so we're going to use the dispatch okay the use dispatch that we have already imported from react redux so let's import actually now or create user action that we have okay that is this inside design in and we're going to define this constant create user action that is going to be the action that we um, are going to call here this one receives the email and password so we need to pass them here and it's going to be the dispatch it's going to run the dispatch of the create user that is this one okay using what we are passing, that is the email and password. And here we are going to await for create user action using email and password in case there they are not in empty strings. We're going to here set redirect, redirect to true for uh, that to redirect us in a second. I'm just going to set it here so I um, had it. So I have it right there. Now else, I'm going to console that log, just a simple message that is uh, need to fill the credentials, something like that. So this is a sign in. Down here, we're going to say, I'm just going to copy this and explain. Remember that we have this redirect, okay? So this cost redirect two is going to handle what we have inside the redirect. And we're going to check, you can skip this, of course. And we're going to check if it's true or false. If it's true, it's going to just redirect us to the main route, okay? That's the only thing. So let's save this. So if I want to use this, I need to async. A redirect is not defined. Uh, what? 927. Okay, because I didn't import redirect from React Router DOM. So let's import it here. Okay. So now let's go back again and this is going to uh, use the action the create user that is going to sign us using the Firebase um, 
function we define inside the config, okay, that is going to use this one, okay, in order to sign in, and it's going to return the user, in case we want to use that, that we are going to use it. So let's say, I have this one, right, okay. Um, users. So let's test it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Create account. Okay. Do you see this? Since we already have the authentication and validation um, for the user state, we are going to check uh, or the application is going to uh, re render the navigation and change the sign in and the login to be this logout. Okay. We still don't have. So we're going to finish uh, the action for the logout, not the action, sorry, the component and the login component so we can test it. But right now we have the user, okay? Let's uh, refresh this. So let me go to the login um, because we're going to use that next. Okay, you can see uh, we have the user. and. You can see that all that shit <laughs> we did before the navigation and all that, it um, allow us to actually test and have the user um, state handled, okay? So that's the most tricky part. And let's actually finish that part using the login and the logout on their components. Okay, so let's go to the navigation and we want to log out, right? So let's actually do this. So let me go inside my components inside the navigation. So we can start adding the rest of the things we need. Okay, so we already have, let me scroll a little bit, the logout user action. So let's see. Okay, logout user. And what the logout user action is doing is setting. Let me go to the actions. Is calling the dispatch for the login user and create user and set the user to be just an empty um, object. Okay. So we already have that. What we still don't have is the login. And I think this is going to be a pretty short video to finish the navigation so we can actually have all the authentication and. Um, the login logout functionality already there so we can continue uh, with the rest of the application and the redirections in case the user is not authenticated okay so we're going to finish now with the login okay i had that thing open okay now we have used this patch login user and redirect okay so let's actually define those. So let me call the redirect. Okay, redirect and set redirect is going to be um, false. Right now, the redirect, okay. We're going to call the dispatch, the dispatch, no, the dispatch again. And let me type this constant log in. User action email and password, and we're going to call the dispatch with the login user that we are um, importing here that needs the email and password. So, this is the action. Okay, now here we're going to add the same. Let me just copy this and remove all this. Okay, email. If email and password have something else, I'm just going to copy this console. Okay, and need to fill the credentials, some shit like that. And let's say let user. Okay, you can add a constant here. Wait, but this is going to be used only uh, to set the redirection. Log in, 
user action with the email and password not like that and let's say if user so if we return something we're going to set the redirect to true so let me just check okay no we don't need that okay and we need something else here this is constant for the redirection okay if it's true it's going to redirect us so let's save that and uh, can I use keyword await okay the same thing that happened before async inside line 15 okay so this is an async function in order to use await we need to define the async function login sign in and uh, we know the sign is working, we know the logout is working. Let's log in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you can see that it redirects us even. Uh, we can come back here and let's say console.log user to see what it comes back. Logout, login. One, two, three, four, five, six and login you can see we have the user okay so the most annoying part is already uh, done let me show you something first so we're going to continue with this okay let me close all this right now No, maybe I'm just going to keep it like this. So this is just logging us out. But let, let me explain something. In case we use redirect here, that's why we're using props. But in case we use redirect, it's going to remove for some reason the the navigation. Okay? So that's why we're going we're only going to replace using the props that we added here. So if we say login, we replace and we go back to the um, main, okay? So how many, okay, 17 minutes. <clears throat> but the authentication, the functionality of the navigation is already done and now we can focus on the rest of course we still don't have the we're not checking on the other routes if the user is authenticated okay that is a little um, complicated so we're going to uh, wait for that okay so we're going to first continue building the application and wait so let's come back here to component and just for us to see that we don't have that, let's add here the out folder, okay? And inside that folder, we're going to create an out that JS that this is going to be. We're going to handle in this using a higher order component. So we need to connect Redux in the regular way without using hooks, okay? This is the way I decided to do it because this is a Redux um, course, okay, tutorial. So I decided to do that. It's not that complex, but we still don't need and uh, don't want to have the authentication, you know, to be redirected and, and shit like that in case we're not just uh, logged in. And so we only wanted to take this out of the way, the sign in, login, and logout functionalities, and to see that it works. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to continue with the rest of the application. Now we have green light in order to continue with uh, creating the posts, handling the Firebase uploads, and all that. Okay. So see you on the next one.